describe the blockade spirit and how it hinders prayers? Sure. Blockade spirit and witchcraft is called the one arm, one eye blockade spirit. Welcome back to the channel, Saints. Happy to see you again. I hope you all had a wonderful day. I pray the Most High continues to bless you, guide you, protect, and provide for you and your beautiful loved ones in both the going out and coming in. I'm your sister, Anastasia Grace. And I would love for you to stay and watch this video if you ever prayed and feel like your answers are not coming, feeling like what is going on. I know I'm praying, I'm being faithful. What is happening? You feel like you're not hearing from the Most High? Watch this video because I'm telling you, you are going to get to know a very, very, very popular demon that is not really known a lot. And you know that's how they like it. All right? So... If you want to know what's going on with your prayers sometimes or most of the times for some people why they're not being answered stick around for this video okay saying so i know in certain countries you have different type of ways where people talk to the dead or talk to spirits or entertain them actually are a part of it's a part of their culture in some places santa maria um in 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 haiti it's voodoo and i know in jamaica it's obia we call it obia right it's different different types of ways where people are actually mixing the the spiritual world with the physical world that they're in and they're doing some really really dark things and can be very detrimental to some people's lives that are unaware they're not covered by the blood they don't know yeah and they are just totally unaware of what's happening they don't understand why their life is stuck and they're having some weird dreams also if you're dreaming certain things dreams are not just dreams as we grew up right just thinking we had a dream and it's whatever if you dream of course seeing snakes i know most of us know that by now that means there's people in your life that are snakes that are not for you and they're in your life and you need to weed them out you need to find out who are these snakes in my life if you have a dream where you're like back in your childhood or you seeing some somebody's trying to keep you stuck in the past stuck and not progressing so dreams have a lot of meaning and they're not just circumstance right are it's it's really important that you know that dreams are a very big deal and when you wake up you need to have a dream book a dream journal so that when you wake up you can write it right because there's also a dream snatcher demon right this video is not to talk about him that's another video on its own but you have dream snatcher demons that snatch your dreams as you wake up you ever wake up and you had a dream and by the time you get up probably wash your face or something and say okay i'm gonna revisit that dream think about it you cannot remember the dream and it was a very substantial dream like what happened to the dream i can't remember some crucial parts of the dream that would have really giving you a certain type of guidance you understand it was not so if you have um any problems like that have a dream journal you put it um somewhere near to you when you get up you write down your dream quickly what i do personally um i do voice notes because it's easier for me to because sometimes you're writing and it's 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 your, your brain moving faster than your hands can so i do voice notes and i have that you know all neatly put together so i can just have my dreams go back over what i saw and just really pull it apart pick it apart you know along with the holy spirit just ask for guidance and ask for the wisdom that i need to understand what this dream is saying right so that is something that a lot of people don't know that dreams are very important all right so we are going to now watch a video talking about the one eye one arm demon and as soon as i saw this video i said i have to share this with my subscribers because i know like myself we've had seasons where we feel like our dreams are our prayers 
are not being answered is that they go up to the ceiling and come back down they're not breaking any ground they're not going where they're supposed to go to the throne of the most high yeah amen and as i say that as well we have to go through our cleanse if you are a child of god if you were previously in these new age is the new thing now which is also same thing like santa maria same thing like voodoo and obia right because it's the same this sage thing that you use saints is a lot we'll get into that in another video right so the whole obia thing instead of jamaicans jamaican jamaicans we have let me say had because i haven't checked it recently the world record of the most churches per square mile right and obia is a major thing in jamaica instead of obia we need to obey yeah amen obey yeah and stop doing all of those foolishness if you know anybody or if you you're saying you love yeah but you still go to the lady in the community that is not right okay so please figure yourself out ask the holy spirit to help you to break certain generational curses and practices amen amen so i want you all to watch this video and then we'll come back after that You describe the blockade spirit and how it hinders prayers? Sure. Blockade spirit and witchcraft is called the one arm, one eye blockade spirit. All witches, the Santeria, Obeya, uh, Voodoo, everyone that practices a fetish, everyone like the, 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 the madam I was raised under, they all know about this spirit. It's an actual spirit and its job is, is to take your mind off of prayer. When you go into your, the Bible says, Jesus said, go into your secret closet, shut the door. And when you're praying in secret, God will reward us openly. When you go in your secret closet, he goes in there with you to try to prevent you from getting what's called a breakthrough. Prayers come in different levels. You first got to get your mind off of everything. What's on the stove? What's at the job? Who's going with this one? Who's hurting that one? You got to get all that stuff past your mind in order to get to the first stage. And not, your prayer's not going to get past the ceiling. You know, like a lot of people that pray, they say, my man, it felt like my prayers are only went to the ceiling and come back. It's because you really haven't pressed past the blockade spirit. It's an actual spirit that's down there. You can actually feel his presence over you while you're trying to get your prayer life in order, trying to get a breakthrough. It's going to remind you of, of everybody that hates you. It's everybody that dislikes you, how much money you don't have, uh, uh, stomach ache that you had last week. Uh, 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 it's anything that can take your mind off. There's thousands of things of subject you can use to force in your mind to keep you from getting your, your prayer through. And you, like Paul says, you have to press past this. You have to. If you don't press past it, every day it'll be there to meet you again. Oh, I'm back again. You know, I'm back again. You remember, you know, this happened last week and that happened. And they try to get you into worry. And they say, if you're down there praying, you don't have to worry. This is why you're praying, and God's going to help you with the things that you're concerned about. See, but if you don't press past them, he's going to meet you every day that you're down there trying to pray. And if you start to get a breakthrough, start to get past that ceiling level, then this next thing, well, to have people call you on the phone that you haven't heard from in 27 years. You didn't even know they were alive. Hey, how you doing? You know? And you're trying to get that breakthrough with God on your hands and knees, and they call you. You get up, answer the phone, and then when you finally go back about two hours later, you say, well, it's too late to go, to, go, to, go back to prayer now. You go and you get in there, you lay down, fall out of the bed, fall asleep, and you go try to do it again. And it's just an ongoing process because he knows, just like Daniel. Daniel had to deal with it. Daniel was getting the prayers. He was getting the prayers out of his mouth. He was going into his chamber and praying. But now he's dealing with the Prince of Persia, the, the Prince of Grecia, and all them other principalities, because they know he was about to break through that level. And once he got through that level, God was going to start pouring things down upon him. So that's how the blockade spirit works. His job is, is to keep you, the really what I call a one-eyed, one-armed demon. He puts that arm on your, on your shoulder while you're trying to play. You can feel his, in other words, you can feel his presence. And that one eye is that he zeroes in you like you got one eye closed looking into a microscope. He's dead on you. He don't want you to even think about trying to pray. 
because he knows the power in prayer. He knows the power in prayer. But when you press your way past him and you get to a certain level, all he becomes is your stumbling block and your stepping stone. Then you can step on him. Then you can go to the next level. See, that's what he is. He squared off, step on him, go. But if you always stop, so I mean, I'll do it. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it the next day. Procrastination. He loves to procrastinate. Don't pray right now. Don't pray. Forget it. It's okay. Don't think about praying right now. He knows that God is trying to get a breakthrough to you and your family. So you press your way. Press past him. Press past. It works. All right, you saw the video and saints, we must, must put the word in it. We must go by the word. That's why it says in James 4, I think verse 7, that we have to submit to God. We have to obey him. We have to submit to him and resist the devil and the devil will flee from us. And a lot of times we hear people talk about this, resist the devil, but they don't mention the first part of that verse, which says, we have to bow submit to God and then resist the devil and he will flee from us how can you resist the devil without submitting to God because if you're resisting something everything is plus and negative everything you know give and take is it's like this so you have to submit to God and then resist the devil and he will flee from you because certain times to tell you the truth it has to take the strength of the most high to really resist certain things, certain situations, certain people, certain things that you might find yourself in, or you wanted it, but you know it's not right, you know it's not good. It takes the strength of the most high to be able to resist the demons that are constantly in our ears trying to get us to do things that are not right, that would not stand in the court of heaven. And that is what the devil wants for us to have nothing to go against him with, for him to have all these things to bring up a matter in front of the Most High against us in the court of heaven. Amen. So we have to submit to God, resist him, and he'll flee from us. First Peter 5 says the devil prowls around like a roaring lion, looking who he may devour. But we have to resist him and stand firm in our faith, stand firm in what we believe, right? We have to know what we believe in in order to stand firm in that. So what do you believe in? We know that we're not going to take the snake bite. We know that we're not going to take certain things that the government is going to try to impose on us. We are not going to go to certain places and do certain things. That's just not us. It's against our faith. It's against our beliefs, right? So we have to have our faith to stand on. So you have to know what it is that you believe in, what it is that you will not compromise and you stand on that, thus causing yourself to be better to resist the devil. So I say this to say, saints, it's very important that you stand on the word of God, especially when it comes to dealing with that one eye, one arm demon that is just giving you all the excuses not to pray. You're there, you're praying, and you know, you're almost getting there. You're almost there to your breakthrough. And this has happened to me before. This has happened to me before. My phone rings, and it's literally somebody that I have not heard from in a while. And I'm like, or your phone just ring. Why your phone? Dry all day, or, or nobody's calling. It's just WhatsApp stuff, and you're messaging. And right when you're praying, or you're getting through and you and you feel like you're right there somebody called you your mom and it's always some people that you do not really don't pick up for because you know you you know and in that moment the devil is like it may be emergency so and so calling you you know they don't call people just right there so to stop you from getting your breakthrough by the time you talk to them as he said our brother said you're tired the momentum the momentum is gone right and most people don't try to get that back so my lovely brothers and sisters let us all work on this because i'm telling you the one eye one arm demon may be in your home if you feel like 
this is happening to you he's in your home and you need to sanctify your house you need to pray without season and you need to take control and push through because that means your breakthrough is right around the corner amen amen thank you all for watching this video and i'll see you all very soon on sunday with another installment and i love you all so much please continue to be beautiful people working for the lord doing the lord's work in whatever way you are amen i love you all so much if you haven't yet please subscribe check if you're subscribed still and share if you care this video and any other video i do in your whatsapp groups facebook anything that you feel led to do and i love you all so much may the lord continue to bless you and he is such a good good god amen amen the lord is with us jesus is lord and i'll see you all very soon take care bye bye